Hey guys, it's going to Dumer again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm pretty excited because I'm starting the videos on VR with the XR Interactions Toolkit provided by Unity. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on installing packages such as the XR Management Package, the Oculus XR Plugin, and lastly, the XR Plugin itself. I'm also going to show you how to set up a XR Rig that is going to allow us to look around in virtual reality. I'm also going to show you how to set up the teleport the locomotion and lastly we're going to be looking at snap positioning which is basically going to allow us to rotate on an angle so let's jump into unity and start looking at it all right guys so let me show you what we're going to be doing today and what i have right now is just a basic scene that i just created with unity 2018 that 3.0 i'm also going to be using the polygon starter kit provided by synthi studios if you want to download it go ahead and download it from the asset store this is free and I just wanted to thank them for providing this asset. So we're going to be creating a virtual reality scene with the new XR Interaction Toolkit. So I'm gonna walk you through all the steps that are necessary. And the first thing that we're going to be doing is we need to download a couple of packages. So we're going to go into Window, Package Manager. And the cool thing with this packaging tool is that you're gonna follow the same steps if you're using either AR Foundation, if you're using Oculus, or if you're using AR Core. So this would apply for many of those, many of those steps. So let's go ahead and search for the XR management. And we're going to install the latest version. It says that this one is 2019.3 verify, which is the version that we're using. So we're going to install that. And it's just going to take a few seconds to install. So the next thing that I also am going to be installing, it's going to be the the actual XR Interaction Toolkit plugin. So let's go ahead and search for that one. I'm just going to type in XR and you're going to see that there is a plugin. Well, it doesn't show because you have to go into advanced and then show previous packages because it's still in preview. And then what I'm going to do is make sure that you install the latest version, which is 0.9.2 at the time of this video. And I'm just going to click on install to install that one as well. And then we're going to be looking at a couple of settings that we need to change now that we have the management and also the, the toolkit. And the last package that we'll need, since we're going to be doing development for the Oculus Quest, it's going to be the, the Oculus XR plugin, which is specifically to, to Oculus. So if you're wondering what happened with the Oculus integration, so the Oculus integration is now part of this Oculus XR plugin. So if you want to use the legacy one, which I call the Oculus integration, you can use it, but it won't be using this new XR Interaction Toolkit. So what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and install the latest one, which is going to be the 2019.3 Verify. So it's going to click on install. And we'll get that one. And you see that it's, it's actually really, I think it's still installing. I was thinking it was that fast. So once we get this done, then we're going to go and look at a couple of settings. So as far as like packages, we are done with packages. So now we need to go into file, build settings. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch this to Android because we're going to be doing development for the, the Oculus Quest. So, and I'm also going to be adding this scene. So make sure that you add the scene that we're working on. And I might rename it to something else later on, but I think for now it's fine. And let's just click on switch platform. Then after this, we're going to be looking at player settings and then adding few loaders that we're going to need for the Oculus Quest. So in previous videos, if you watch my previous videos on Oculus, you know that we had to do a lot of things with manifest files. In, in this version of the XR implementation, I didn't have to do any of that to do development. So it actually they actually made it pretty easy, which it might be why they're going in this direction. And when I say they, I mean Unity. So what I'm going to do now is I went into build settings and then project, project settings. Then we're going to go here where it says Oculus and I'm going to click on create. And this is just going to create a file that it's going to tell the system what rendering mode is going to use and also what type of signing we're going to use. This is the default that I've been using. So just go ahead and select that. And then the next thing that we need to go to is we need to go to the XR plugin management make sure that you are in the Android tab, not on any of these tabs, because we're working with Oculus right now. And then you're going to see that Oculus XR plugin is installed. So what we need to do now is you need to click here and then click on Oculus Loader. And that's going to load the Oculus Loader. And just give it a second or two. Maybe I didn't click it. There we go. So that's everything as far as setup on the, you know, to be able to work with Oculus. 
So now what I want to show you is what we need to do to get a, a very common, very basic camera rig. And in the if you watch my previous videos again, you know that I added a OVR player controller. There was also an OVR camera rig. So the terminology here is going to be a little bit different, but we're going to, I'll try to explain it as we go to. So what I'm going to do as well is, let's go ahead and click on this scene, and I'm going to rename this one. This one is going to be the XR Basic Camera Rig. It's actually called XR Rig, so let's just call it what it is. So I'm just going to say XR Rig, basic example. And then reload. And I'm going to be putting this in GitHub. That's why I'm trying to make sure that everything is named correctly. So to start, we have you know a main camera, and that's very common, and also a directional light. And I also, because I'm using the the Polygon Starter Kit from Synthi Studio, we're going to have you know I have a lot of assets that we can that we can use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working in the how to add the stationary camera rig. We can also add a room scale camera rig. So I'm going to show you those options. So we're going to right click in the hierarchy and then go into XR. And these are some of the common components that Unity is also providing. So you have an Ray Interactor, you have a Direct Interactor, Soccer Interactor, and I'm going to cover all of these ones for now. We're just going to be focusing on, on these two. So if you want to handle a camera rig with you know a room scale camera rig, you can do this one. If you just want to make a stationary you know camera rig, you can use you can use this one. So I'm going to use the stationary in this case, and then I'm going to show you how you can change it if you want to change it to the room scale. So as you can see, it added a couple of components. One of them, it's going to be required. So this one is required per scene, and it's the XR Interaction Manager. It was added automatically. If you want to add it on your on your own, you can. But by adding the XR rig, it added the, the other component automatically. If you click on the XR rig, you're going to see that we now have an XR rig. It has uh, basically a game object of itself, a camera offset. So if I click here, there's a camera offset. It also has created a, a camera, a main camera for us. And it actually removed the other camera because it knows that we're going to be using this virtual reality camera. And then you can also tell it whether to use a stationary tracking space, just like it does when you do, when you use your Oculus, where it asks you if you want to do a stationary or if you want to use room scale. So you can toggle, toggle between these two. And then you can also, you know, change the camera Y offset if you want to change that. So the so as far as like what we have right now, this will allow you to basically to look around and it'll work. But I'm going to add a couple of more systems that we're going to need later on as well. So the next one that we're going to be using for movement and possibly teleporting, it's going to be the locomotion system. And I'm going to be just dragging and dropping these, you know, the actual the actual XR rig to it. So we can just drag it. I think I can just drag it and drop it here. Make sure that that is associated. If you don't set it, I think the system automatically will use the one that is in this component. I just been doing it just to make sure that that is set correctly. And then the other system that we're also going to be using is going to be the teleportation provider. And I'm going to also do the same thing here. I'm just going to drag and drop this one in here. Make sure that that system is set up. And then the last thing that I'm going to do, just as far as like setting up the camera, it's going to be the snap provider. And in in the Oculus integration, it was called something else, and, and it was a little bit tedious to make it work. So in this one, you can just search for a snap term provider. And I'm going to also add the locomotion system in here. And you can also tell it what you know what your turn input source is going to be, if it's going to be the you know, primary to the axis or the secondary as, uh, axis in, you know, depending on what controller you're using. What I've been doing is I've been setting the controller that I'm going to use for the actual turn, by just setting the, you know, the controller variable here. So if I set this to one, say I'm going to expand this and you have the left hand controller and also the right hand controller. Say that I want to do a snap turn with the right hand controller. You can just drag this one, drop it here. And what's going to happen is this is now going to become the one that we're going to be using for doing the snap turn. You can also say, okay, if I want to turn 45 degrees, you can set it up to 45 degrees. If you want to do 20, 90, 180, depend, depends on your game. You can change that. You also have a dead zone that we can use to, you know, basically we're not going to be turning in that area. And you also have an activation timeout of when that it's going to happen as far as like the, the turn. 
So those are some of the basic settings that we'll need to that you need to set up to basically get a, an XR rig going. So the next thing that I want to do is, yeah, we have a camera rig and there's really nothing that I'm going to be looking at. So let's go ahead and add a couple of prefabs that we're going to be needing. So I'm going to go ahead and select maybe a, a floor here and make sure that you know I have enough room to be able to see the camera. So I'm going to do that there and we can move it, I think, right about there. Awesome. And then I think, let me see if I have a bigger island. Let's go ahead and use the bigger island. Let's do, let's do this other mountain or island. I think, I, I think it's a mountain. That's what they call it. Awesome. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to also add a couple of trees so that we can look at the trees as we are on this on these mountain. And we can just drag a tree here. Just go ahead and there we go. And then I'll just clone this tree and we'll organize the hierarchy as, as I get this done. So I'll just put a tree right over here and then maybe a different type of tree here. There we go. And I'll just do perhaps, let's go ahead and add this one here. So I'm trying to make an environment so that we can, you know, we, we can have an experience. Otherwise it's going to be super boring and there won't be anything. Let me see what else they have in here. Let's just go ahead and add perhaps a couple of rocks. I'll just twist it a little bit here and I can just make that rock a little bit bigger. I'll just move one here. There we go. And let's see what else we have. And we can add perhaps just another tree somewhere, somewhere in here. So so what I'm gonna do now, I think I think that's plenty for just for now. What I also want to do is I want to go ahead and organize this because I'm gonna be showing you and, and sharing sharing this information to you. So I'm just gonna say environment. And then we're just gonna drag and drop all of these assets into that game object so that we you know we can easily have the environment and everything organized. So we'll have the directional light, the XR interaction manager and then or XR rig and I think if I if I look around now we're gonna have enough assets to be able to so let me go ahead and fix this one really quick so that we're not going through the there we go something like that okay we'll look around there is a tree there and then a couple of trees so let me go ahead and wrap it up here and, and I'm gonna show you how this looks by running the the experience on the device all right, guys, so I tried to build it and I had a failure and I want to show you how and what I did to fix it just to make sure that you guys know how to build it to your device. So if you get this error, that means that the the current graphics that we have selected are not supported. So you need to make sure that we go into build settings and then player settings. We're going to go into Android and the instead of using Vulkan as the graphics API, we're going to move the OpenGL ES3. I'm gonna close it and now we should be able to build it. So let's go ahead and go into build settings. We have the Oculus Quest selected. I'm gonna click on build and run and then I'm just gonna say Oculus demo. Hit save and that's everything that I, you know, that we need to do to get it built. I I felt like I needed to show you before you got you guys have issues with building this to your device. So I'll just show you the results as soon as this build process is, is done. All right guys, so I got this built and I wanna show you the results. So it's gonna hit play. This is running on my Oculus. I'm picking up the controllers. And this is the scene that we just created in Unity. There's a couple of trees there. We also have a couple of rays on my right and left controller. And this is the default of the room scale and a stationary scale XR rig. I'm also doing a snap positioning here. As you can see, I'm using the right controller to change the position which is changing by default by 40 degrees. And then I'm just looking up to see to see the sun. So that's everything that I wanted to show you today. Thank you very much, guys. All right, guys, thank you much for watching today. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions on VR with the XR Interactions Toolkit, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out gamedev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.